back to the vlog. I'm Chi Chi. If you're new, welcome to the New York City vloggy vlog. Okay, y'all. So it's actually day two of me being in New York. I have one more day here. And when I say I hit the ground running yesterday, as soon as I got off the train, I ran to, I had to make a stop. I went to Zara and H&M. Don't think I got clips of that. Anyways, cause I needed some jewelry. Cause like I could not find any of my regular jewelry for some reason when I was about to hop on the train. Um, and I was running late per usual. <laughs> So I got to the hotel and I got dressed because I'm in the city attending a couple of events and it happens to be fashion week. And I say that on purpose. I might talk about that a little bit later, but it happens to be fashion week. I'm in the city and last night I was invited to the soft launch, relaunch, pre-launch launch of the of, of Target's latest collaboration. Special thanks to the Target team and the PR folks that, you know, recognize this little girl right here, okay? Um, and so it was so fun. I mean, the room was packed. Everybody, when I say everybody, that was everybody, was there, okay? All of the YouTube girlies were there. All of your favorite, you know, melanated content creators were all there. It was a time, it was a vibe. And I realized that I've been looking at the monitor and not y'all, so forgive me. Anyways, it was such a good time. I ran into my girl, Ruby. If you don't know her, she is a fabulous content creator. So bubbly, so fun. That's who I am. Hi. You're the only one missing. Mm -hmm. We're missing you. We are. We're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I, I ran into Ruby and we were just like trying all, all the pieces and really what made my heart was that they had extended sizes, they had the plus sizes there and I was so glad that they didn't forget about us. So maybe sometime in this vlog I'll show you like the two pieces I picked up. Uh, Brittany was there, Pox and Bows, and she picked up some pants that I didn't originally see. And I'm like, maybe I need to go get that. But anyways, so many other girls were there. It was so fun. And after that, we went to dinner at Para Soho. Hey, look at my date. <laughs> we were just looking for like a little spot that was close to where we were because the event was in like Soho. And it's fashion week, so like if you don't got reservations, girl, <laughs> if you don't have reservations, it's a struggle. It was more like a Mediterranean place. It's more of like an outside place, but they did have an inside. Oh my God. I'm sure if you watch anybody's fashion week vlog, they will tell you that it's like crazy hot right now in New York. Like it's September y'all and we're doing like heat advisory temperatures like 95 98 i'm like what is happening what in the world like all the girls had all their fall fashion ideas through that right out the door right out the door i was so confused getting ready for this trip i didn't even know what to wear oh my god but i loved my outfit from last night it came together so well y'all when i say i finessed that outfit i had no clue what to wear and I was just like, something told me to bring my Aria, Ma is it Aria Margot belt? And it made the outfit. Like it was just a simple two piece set. I think I got it from either Nasty Gal or Pretty Little Thing. But just adding that belt elevated it. And then I had this little like printed corset moment, left it open. Yes, yes. And most importantly, I literally ordered some kitten heels before I um, came on this trip. Cause I was like, what I'm not gonna do is be annoyed because my feet hurt the whole night and it did not hurt. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, yes, yes, I don't get old. I don't care. I need my comfortable shoes, okay? And that's why I've been like gravitating towards like more like wide leg pants and just things like that that I could hide my grandma's shoes underneath, okay? Because I need to be comfortable. I'm sorry. I just, I can't, I can't sacrifice comfort anymore. I'm joking. For some special occasions, I'll sacrifice comfort, but for the most part, no. Yesterday was crazy. Just woke up. Let me get myself together and I'll be back.
it's the next morning well actually technically afternoon i kind of laid up in the bed uh, and i am going to a event with bh photos if you're in the content creator world you know that they are one of the bigger photo video retailers right and they, they're like they're a huge landmark in new york they're having this huge expo to commemorate 50 years of being in business and they're having speakers and so i want to go check it out i just hope that i got my dates right fingers crossed and then i have another event tonight <laughs> So we're gonna be outfit changing outfits, girl. And because it's 99 billion degrees outside, I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. I didn't even wanna wear makeup today. If I wasn't vlogging and I wasn't here creating content, no one would pay me a dollar to put a single drop of foundation on my face. But you know what? We're gonna finesse it. We're gonna make it work. So let's go. Where did I leave off? Let me give you guys a little recap size catch up from yesterday from the Javits Center. I was there for the Build Expo um, with BH Photo. I got to see like if you are a photographer person or like into art. <coughs> wow, miss you. Of course. Y'all, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> if you're an audio visual person, they had all of the newest equipment. You got to test it out. They had like tastemakers, experts, and I sat in a beautiful panel where she was discussing like style and photography and beauty. And I love that panel because she kind of talked about the business side of things like how do you get new clients how do you grow your brand and I learned so much about you know what she did in terms of like marketing her business and brand you see people getting all these deals and you think oh my god you know they're just so lucky nah these folks are real intentional anyways after that I went back to the hotel got ready because I went to the folklore event I'm right now my theme right now is black be black 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 any way I can support black brands black businesses black creatives I'm here for it and that was what the folklore event was about the folklore event was just illuminating every time when I just get to be around black founders and just see like some of the obstacles um, they have to go through and how they gain brand awareness just learning about how integral buyers are and like what big brands like Saks, Nordstrom, all of them are trying to do to cultivate the next Gucci's, the next big fashion houses. It was so interesting. Got to meet some cool people. Of course, I'm always there for the fashions, some cute outfits, met some cute people. So that was pretty much a wrap of yesterday. And then I went home and I had to jump on Zoom because I'm hosting um, a group, a women's group at my church. And we are back. It's the morning time. Had to film some content this morning and then I we checked out. So we're about to hit, have like um I guess brunch at this point at the cafe that's right next to our hotel. If you guys want a hotel review, I'll give you guys one, but let's just say it it, it was all made. But this little cafe right here looks real cute. It's called Cafe Mishmash. It's very much giving like bohemian vibes in here.
Oh my god, it's been a minute, okay, since y'all last saw me. Actually, it's been quite a few couple of weeks since then, y'all. I look different, the braids are gone. We're back to the wig life. And I always get questions about my wigs. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link some of my favorites down below, the curly fro and all of that. Speaking of that, let's go put her on because I definitely didn't mean to start this with this turban on my head. So that's much better. Now she's still a work in progress because you guys know that I always like shape her to fit my face. It's been a while <laughs> since I've had to like cut one so I'm kind of figuring out the details but I just love a quick and easy hairstyle that's why the braids had me in a chokehold because I just don't want to be thinking too much about lace and glue I'm not good at that stuff okay I'm not <laughs> I have learned where my expertise lies and it's not in the hair stuff and I also don't want to spend a whole lot of money on like getting it applied because to me when you go get it applied like when you don't know how to do it yourself your hairstyle literally is a 24 hour hairstyle and after that the lace starts to lift all the layers and the colors and the tints and everything starts to separate and i sweat too on my head so yeah it's not for me but that's not why we're here <laughs> so as i was saying the last time y'all saw me we were leaving new york and then i proceeded to catch one of these bugs that was going around y'all watch yourself around around these little kids okay because they are germy and <laughs> it was a whole thing okay a little bug just morphed into something else but your girl's feeling so much better now at least i think so as i'm about to cough <coughs> and i have been picking up things here and there so i figured i would show you some of the goodies that i picked up i know i asked on instagram shameless plug you should be following me there what kind of items you guys were on the hunt for where you were looking for style dilemmas and one of the requests that stood out was for like comfortable fall footwear so i've been picking up a couple and i want to share with you guys here because i don't know when i'm going to include it in a haul i also have been picking bags up as well that i think are also great finds as we go in from fall into the holiday season so let's dig into the goodies so I just laid out some of the pieces around me so let's go ahead and go through accessories and then we'll quickly jump into clothing. I have a bunch of goodies that I picked up from H&M. I actually need to place a second order because there are a few more things that I need in my life. Uh, I'll also link those for you guys down below in case you're interested in seeing like what else I get from H&M. So the first item I have for you guys, this is like the brown bag I picked up for fall. If you're following me on Instagram, I did a reel on how to wear more colors. I think the key to mastering more color in the fall and winter is to have the right accessories being instead of adding more browns and just lighter tones in your accessory wardrobe will make it so much easier for you to wear color because color and black can be really harsh I feel like the colors and compete with each other and depending on the color black tends to wash things out yes I knew I wanted to add more brown to my wardrobe in terms of accessories and I picked up this bag what really drew it to me was of course the shape we've been seeing a lot of moon style bags not moon style we've been seeing a lot of circle style bags coming out in the last couple of seasons and there's so many different price points from like Polen this is Stud which is a little bit more affordable than Polen to like Coperni which is a little bit more expensive I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name of the brand right but you get the gist even like the Bottega Jody is like almost in the theme of more of the round style shaped bag and then the really big Bottega Hobos as well. So we're seeing more of the shape and I love the fact that this one was like patent and suede. You're getting a little, mm, a little spice, you know, with the mixed tones, but they're in the same color. So it'll work with whatever you pair it with. Like it's not gonna compete. It's a statement, but it's subtle and I love that. And there's some like really fun details here it says stud can you see or is it gonna keep trying to focus on my face i do not know you can see it says stud here and has little details now the only con with this purse is that it is not a crossbody which is why you see these weird chains why you see this hanging off of this because i just picked up this chain from amazon
Amazon, I have these because what I've noticed with designer bags is that they don't really accommodate for a thicker figure. So I bought a few of these chains off Amazon a while ago so that I could add them to my more high-end purses to just give me a little bit more crossbody. And this just happens to be one of them that I threw on this bag. It's super cute to hold like this. I feel like that is how it's designed. But the mini version of this has straps. So I thought this would also have straps too. I was wrong. But aside from that, it's a great quality bag. I like the fact that it's structured and that it holds its shape. I did travel with it. I got a little squish in the suitcase. But aside from that, to me, We've been looking for a round bag or a brown bag for fall. This should definitely be a contender, especially around the holidays. I know you're gonna find a sale on this because I bought it for price, but I'm gonna see if I can find y'all a good sale link and put it in the description box down below. Now onto bag number two is going to be this gold pouch bag. Okay, I got this from Amazon. It will definitely be linked on my Amazon storefront for you guys, but I picked this up and I think this bag is a must have. Literally year round you can wear this, but especially during the holiday season. Let me come close so you can see the detail. Okay, I hope you can see that it has like a little bit of a crinkle effect. Now this seller has a couple styles of this gold bag, but in my opinion, this version is the more expensive looking version. Okay, it looks the closest to leather. I don't think this is real leather. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it looks that way and it's under $50. And when I say this thing holds everything, it holds everything. Currently, it holds some of like the PR stuff I got for my last trip, as well as jewelry that I traveled with because this also came with me on my last trip. Not New York, another trip. I've been on another trip, been sick, then was on a trip since we last spoke. But anyways, that vlog is coming soon. But I took this with me. We had a gala slash award ceremony at that trip. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about. And so I love this bag because I could put my comfortable shoes in here. That's why I love these pouch bags. They fit everything. All of your makeup, content creators, we have to travel with our power banks. We got to travel with our mini lights. We got to travel with makeup. And I was able to fit a pair of shoes in here as well. And my favorite part of it is that it's crossbody. You see that? So you can just throw it across your body as well, but you can also rock it as a clutch underneath the arms. It's a vibe. <laughs> so yes, this is a must buy. All right. And I'm sorry if the energy isn't there, y'all. It's been a day, it's been a day, it's been a busy one. You know, I love fall, but I honestly do not love that everything gets dark so early. I do not love that. I am not a 6 a.m. bae or 4 a.m. bae, definitely. It takes me a couple hours to get booted. I don't wanna be running against the sun every single day. So I do not love that, but I digress. Continuing on with the metallics, okay. Y'all know silver has come back thanks to the mother, okay, and the Renaissance tour. Most importantly, I picked this up because the holiday days are coming and one of the easiest ways to jazz up what you already own and make it festive for work parties and holiday events and all the things is with some metallics okay you're gonna throw on these steppers okay and be the freshest girl <laughs> but anyway so I picked these up because one the heel is so manageable that is my hack now for events I like to wear pants so I can wear comfortable shoes and no one can tell because it's hidden underneath my pants and so when I saw this I had to add it to cart the heel is very very manageable the only thing I would say is if you get this also get those foot insert pads if you need a little bit more like cushion these are actually custom made I feel like especially if you wear larger sizes so I got this in the size 12 it's a little big but because I have wide feet, I just didn't want it to be snug. So if you wear an 11 and you don't want anything snug or tight, then I recommend you size up in these. Again, look at the quality of it. Now this did take me a little while to show up. So if you are looking to wear this for the holidays, I would get it now. Hopefully this vlog is going up soon so i would get it now because it does take a little while and they have so many other colors so if you're looking for some comfortable kitten heels definitely worth checking out and then 
The last thing I picked up, and I feel like I shared this with you guys already, but I know not all of you saw my Nordstrom haul from the summertime. This is another item that I picked up that was in my Nordstrom haul, and it's such a great buy. You know, cowboy boots are everywhere for fall right now, and my favorite part about these shoes is just how intricate is the right word the design is. This is a size 11 here. I already wore this out. In addition to it being intricate, I feel like they thought of everything with this shoe. It has the stretchy bits up here, but most importantly, it also has a zipper. So you do not have to be struggling because I have a similar pair of boots like this that I rarely wear because I do not want to struggle to put on my shoes. And you don't have to with this one. If you have white feet, in my opinion, this runs not very generous. So definitely size up if you want it to fit a little bit more comfortable. The great thing about it though, is it's leather and leather molds and stretches to your feet. If you're not a fan of this huge contrast, they also had like a more subtle, different shades of brown type of situation. But to me, I felt like this, this was like the thing that made these shoes stand out. And I got compliments. Like I felt like this girl kept on coming up to me and talking to me. And she was like, oh my God, make sure you link your boots. And I was like, yeah, girl, I will. Definitely, if you're looking for something that's a little bit of a statement, you can pair this with jeans, you can pair this with dresses. That's how I styled it to like a Western themed event. Yeah, she's that girl. Now, I just had, um, actually no, I thought I was about to get interrupted, but I'm not. So we can continue on. I know you guys are waiting to see the H&M haul. I don't think I'm gonna show everything just cause of time wise, but I will show like the things that I think are the items that will probably sell out and the best items from the haul. At some point, there's going to be like a collective haul on the channel and then I will maybe include whatever I don't I didn't share today. But if you want the full tea on everything that I bought from H&M, make sure you check out my LTK because I do share all of the things on there. And the reason why I share all of the things on there is because that is what that app is for. It is an app designed for anyone who's interested or cares <laughs> to share their finds and anyone who's interested or cares to shop for them. That is what that destination is for. I feel like that is the right place for me to share everything versus like here. And not everyone comes here to shop and I like to be cognizant of that, okay? All right, y'all. H&M boxes here. I don't even know why they deliver in such huge boxes. I don't feel like I bought that much. Okay, that's a big box. Where do we start? I think we're gonna start with this item. So I picked up one of these like tweed jackets that I've been seeing everywhere. It's giving Coco Chanel. I love this blue color. I have a denim bodysuit from Zara from last year that I think would pair really well with this. Then I'd probably just do like black on the bottoms, like maybe some leather pants. I'm thinking with this, but love it. Okay, and then I think it would be great paired with my silver pumps that I just moved because the buttons are silver. I realized I really don't have a lot of silver in my wardrobe. So the plan is to add more silver, but I freaking love the details. Like for the price point, I feel like this jacket was impeccably made. Double pockets right here. The quality of the buttons, the stitching, the quality of this tweed. I mean, everything about this, definitely a find. So how much did I pay for this? I have no clue because they didn't put the price on here, but I got this in a size extra, extra large and I usually wear a XL. However, when it comes to like structured pieces like this, I'll size up and I love that. I almost feel like the jackets, HM has started cutting them even a little bit more generously so that for my girls with thick arms, if you're like me, shaped like me around my size and my measurements are in the description box down below, then you can definitely take a chance on this. So I feel like this piece is twinsies for the next piece. Hold on. So this is the next piece. I know it's definitely giving mother of the service or what do they call it. It's definitely giving Deaconess. 
but like Deaconess is kind of in. Did you guys catch that um, vintage, I think it was a vintage, was it a YSL or Chanel suit? I can't remember now that um, Hilo Lux wore during Fashion Week. Well, exactly. It's giving where fashion is cyclical and it's, things are coming back and Deaconess is back in style. It's basically the same style. The only difference between this one and that one, I feel like that one was even better made as far as the quality of the fabric, is that this one is long lined and that's more of a crop. And just like that one, I'm gonna pair it with just like I'm gonna do a lot of juxtaposition so this is very feminine kind of girly you know all you need is like a mini skirt and some tights and some black pumps and you're giving pretty woman vibes but that's not the way I'm gonna go I'm gonna grunge this up I'm gonna pair this probably with leather shorts since it's longer and some tights and some combat boots that's what I want to do I kind of want to juxtapose a little bit add a little bit of edge to it because I feel like when you're curvy especially when you're more plus size certain styles can make you look a little bit more mature uh that's the best word to describe it so you almost have to like interject a little bit of youth into it to keep things fresh and that's what i plan to do i also got this one in an extra extra large as well and based on how that other one fit i'm pretty sure this is going to fit me as well so i just wanted to come close so you could see like the fabric so it has a lot of texture. It has like a metallic thread running through it. It does not have buttons on the pocket like the other one, but this one actually has real pockets. I feel like the other one is faux. You could basically just treat this like a shacket. And then for my girls who are thinking about the holidays already, work parties, Friendsgiving, maybe you know you go into a Friendsgiving and Bay or Future Bay is gonna be there. You wanna show out a little bit? Then this would definitely be the dress. Now this is not the dress to eat a lot of food. This is the dress to look cute or to go on date night with the hubs, but be festive. So it's this burgundy dress. It's like a deep kind of like ox blood burgundy. It has the scoop neck right in front so the girls can be front and center if you would like and honestly it's ribbed I thought it was gonna be a thicker sweater but it's actually more of a rib than anything else if you can see that and yeah like I think this is a vibe I love all the subtle little details on it I think this is gonna be a sexy little vibe probably will need shapewear with this one but I will link my favorite shapewear down below that snatches the girls up. I have two shapers that I always wear. One is by Made In Form, the other one is by Spinx, and they do the thing, okay? When you need them to do the thing. But yeah, we love her, and all this also comes in black, I think, as well. So if you guys are interested in it, it will be linked for you in the description box. It is a midi dress. Again, if I'm gonna be showing off a lot, I like to be a little bit more covered, so I love that. Throw a trench coat over this, throw some, you know, some sexy stiletto boots, or you could even do pumps if it's not that cold where you're at. Yeah, she's a vibe. She is a vibe. You know what, I feel like that's it. There's one more item, but honestly, I don't know if it's necessary for me to include it in this and we've been talking for so long so stay tuned for the collective haul that we'll be featuring all the other things okay that I did not share with you guys here and now let me go tidy up all this stuff and I'll see you guys in a bit Popping in here, this is Chi Chi from the future. If you enjoyed the H&M mini try on, sis, I wanted to let you know that we actually have a whole lot more H&M picks included in our Cyber Week edit on the blog. Not only do we have picks for H&M, we have picks from all our favorite stores, Eloquii, Nasty Gal, Boohoo, and so many more, okay? Plus exclusive discount codes, all the work has been done for you because we know how overwhelming the holidays can get. Definitely check the link in the description box down below. Now back to the vlog. So we are definitely ending the vlog today. Why do I feel like you guys are crooked? Okay, all right, I think that's better. Anyways, we're ending the vlog today. I am actually wearing a Target sweater. I said I was gonna film this outfit and I'm pretty sure I forgot to. Anyways, if I find a mirror, um, we're going to Home Goods and then we're going to possibly Target. I don't know. Let's see how I'm feeling. Because I just want to see like what's new and what's fresh, especially for the holidays because all the decorations are out. And if you don't know anything about me, 
you should know that I love me some Christmas. I don't celebrate a lot of holidays, but Christmas, I'ma celebrate. So I'm gonna go pop in. I've been seeing a lot of like YouTube videos and a lot of um, um, holiday finds from like Home Goods and Jesus have mercy. You guys did not just see my mount almost fall down with my phone. Maybe we'll, we'll keep that clip. But anyways, I've been seeing a lot of finds. So let's make this quick. From the girlies here on the tube, all the good stuff that they found for the holidays. I have been doing the same sort of like color theme on my tree for the last two years and I'm kind of getting tired of it. But like nothing else is really giving me inspiration right now. I'm definitely do not like traditional Christmas colors like the reds and the greens. That's not my style. I love a neutral sort of like Christmas slowly as God blesses me, you know, I'll be able to elevate more into it because organic modern, um, that's kind of like my taste. That's kind of like my vibe. And this clay pot is $5,000 and it was found, you know, at an abandoned, 500 year old vineyard in Tuscany you know so like I love the vibe so I'm always looking to see how I can get that look for less right now you know until God runs up the checks okay but anyways so we are going to see what they have at home goods and then if I have some time I will go at Target there's these like tinsel stars that I've been collecting for the last couple years every time every like holiday season they always sell out. I'll grab a couple of them because they're like overpriced for no reason, but they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna see if the holiday stuff is out at Target and if they have the tinsel stars, I'll probably get a couple of them. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Again, I don't need to find no more home decor for right now, just with the things going on in my life, but window shopping has never hurt anyone, right? on this. I like it. This is pretty. This looks like the glass that they have at the Virgin Hotels. If they had like a set of four, oh they do. How much is it? $3.99. That's not bad. I'm looking for something with the colors, but not necessarily the print. So like, give me like holiday vibes, but don't have, I'm really not interested in it having like horses or stags. You know, this is really good quality. Something about this caught my eye. It says ski bums, but like the quality leaves a little bit to be desired. So I'm not sure about this one. I'm trying to stay away from the festive pillows this year. Especially since this doesn't really go with my color scheme. Yeah, it's gonna be in now here. The current heart situation. What not to buy from Home Goods? This. These. That. These. Yeah. That's what not to buy.
actually have the tinsel stars. They don't have them in white. Ugh, what do we do?